Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K. and this is the first half of April of 2021 Spiritual Advice Reading. I'm going to lay two Celtic spreads. The first spread representing career and finance for the next first half of April. And the second spread, Celtic spread, representing love and romance. So let's go ahead and switch the camera to the spread so you can see the cards as they are laid in one moment. All right, Gemini, so here we are. Um, I'm going to be doing the first Celtic spread to represent and translate messages regarding career and finance, uh, creativity, small business, and so on. This is the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland, and I'm going to lay a Celtic spread. So, dear Lord, spirit, guides, and angels, please bless whichever Gemini I am reading for during this general reading. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Gemini with clearly defined messages regarding career and finance and or any spiritual guidance. There we go. So in the center of the Celtic spread, right off the bat, we've got at the beginning of April of 2021, a Gemini who will be receiving a lot of downloads, a lot of messages, signs and synchronicities. So with your crown chakra being wide open, uh, it is important to pray and trust and have faith that whatever you are praying for in the area of career and finance, so too is it going to uh, come manifest. The number seven here is a very spiritual number. It's the point where you know what success means to you and you know uh, which doorway, when it opens, uh, is going to be the right one for you. And if you didn't, you do now. All right, so we do have important news here showing up. If it didn't at the end of March, going into the first week or two of April of 2021. Uh, this good and important news, like I said in the title of my second half of March videos, uh, this is proof of how far you have come. And I'm hearing most importantly, uh, spiritually. Uh, you have matured spiritually. Now, Mars is uh, in Gemini, in your sign, all the way up into and through April 23rd of 2021. Therefore, uh, Geminis, you are going to receive fortunate surprises and you're going to feel empowered and uh, liberated in love. So, some Geminis, in fact, I'm hearing many through personal readings, um, are feeling liberated after what felt like a very or seemed like a very painful relationship. And now Spirit's saying you have matured spiritually to the point where you can surpass competitive or aggressive uh, reactions or actions. You're going to feel empowered because uh, you have liberated yourself from what I feel was not a good path. Now, I'm feeling a little bit of this is in love. If a relationship didn't work out, and I know this is career and finance, it didn't because there's a different direction you're supposed to go. Why? Because the seven is spirit saying we're opening a doorway, right? So no longer are you going to stay in the circumstances or energy that you were. This is pretty deep, okay? So in the thoughts position of the Celtic spread for this Gemini, we've got emotional loss. So yeah, with the number five, it's like uh, unpredictable, constant motion. Things are ebbing and flowing, but there's an inability to know exactly which action steps or communication or direction this Gemini is going. And that's why Spirit's saying we're offering up uh, the energy, extra energy, in your crown chakra so that when you see a doorway open, uh, you will have freed yourself from old emotional losses. I'm really feeling like someone here is going from an emotional connection into a more financially abundant direction. And that is where spirit was trying to guide you all along. So some may have even said, some of you Geminis, um, you know, that isn't where I was meant to be. And now I'm excited for what I know is coming. 
Okay. If, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> in the foundation of the Celtic spread, we have rest and rejuvenate. So we have the number four. We have a Gemini here who's sitting on a solid foundation, at least for the moment. And you're really being guided to enjoy this moment of pause, right? Because after a time of rest and rejuvenation, after a time of saving up money with the number four, creating a solid foundation in your foundation position, that's when things are going to start to speed up. So enjoy this moment of pause. During, I'm hearing at least the first week of April of 2021 or from when you hear this video all the way until that first week. Now in the recent past, Spirit was stepping in to help you with the number three, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, to help you to give birth to a new direction. And even though you may be at a loss as to how that's all going to transpire, Spirit is here saying we're going to send you signs and synchronicities, so pay attention. Oh my gosh. Okay, so by the second week of April of 2021, we've got the sacral chakra being lit up. This is going from I'm waiting for a doorway to open to now the number two as I'm going from one doorway into another. And it's bringing up that sacral chakra energy, that passionate energy, that even sexual energy. Um, when we are passionate about something in our own personal journey, sometimes that emotional fulfillment is stronger than what we can receive from another person because we gave birth to something that we wanted to achieve and this is a Gemini who is recognizing that. So the main guidance from spirit here in the actions position creatively, financially, and so on Gemini is to maintain balance. Okay, a new with the number 11, one path was meant to be for you to grow spiritually is what I'm hearing. And with the second one in 11, now we can guide you into a new path. One plus one is two, a path that you can get excited about. Awesome. So in the inner strengths position, spirit is saying with the number nine being endings, right? Now it's time to put together a material harvest of all that you have acknowledged and learned. Yes, sometimes this is like physical things and money, but I'm feeling more so look at how far you have come. You've created a material harvest for yourself. And now in this moment of rest and rejuvenation, all you need to do is start to get ready about planning a new direction and finding balance in that process. It's like I've been here and I've done this and after repeating something back here, I know now that I can give birth to exactly what I desire because because I'm more woke or awaken. All right. So in the hopes and fears position, I have done, you guys are my third reading and I have seen maybe one chakra card show up for people. We've got you going from signs to a very passionate new direction circumstance situation. And now in the hopes and fears position with the solar plexus chakra, you are going from creating something you're passionate about to obtaining some form of wisdom. And what's interesting here is spirit saying you gave birth to this with the major art or with the number three on both cards, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost was helping you to give birth to a new direction that you were passionate about, whereby you're going to obtain some form of wisdom. Do not fear this. Do not fear. Oh my gosh, look at this. And I shuffled really good and many times. So in the outcome position, what happens? This Gemini goes from, I wanted to give birth to a situation. And for some, this was, um, if you're, well, masculine or feminine, there was maybe a feminine in the past uh, that you were trying to give birth to in a situation. But now, now you're finding the direction whereby you can start a new chapter in your life with the number one and ground yourself. So financially, this is learning something that you're excited to manifest, putting energy in, almost fearing what you are receiving when it comes to the knowledge of the whole situation and what you've acquired spiritually. You can now step into the base chakra, a solid foundation, and maybe even maintain this energy of peace and balance. They're saying in the next month, the more peaceful and balanced you are, the more you free yourself from these old emotions, the more you can now recognize the doorway that we're trying to get you excited about. Now's the time to continue to create a new direction because wisdom is showing up here. 
Again, I'm getting one, two, three, seven. So we'll say the first week of April, 2021, there's some form of realization here. And then there's like a solid feeling financially and creatively by mid-April of 2021. And looking on the bottom of the deck, the number six representing victory and success. Blowing your own horn. Oh my, that's what I just heard. So yeah, be careful if you're so, so proud of your accomplishments and you know where you're headed and you're very confident. You know, there are people out there who are still not. So be careful. You can blow your own horn and toot your own horn. Is that what they say? In your own space, jump up and down, be excited, and then, you know, remain humble. Yeah, because there's partnerships and alliances that are coming with the number three again. New partners, new alliances. That could be business and then love. And for a lot of people, I feel in 2021, it's going to be, I moved into this direction or I went to this job and it's in that path where I met, you know, the proverbial true love. All right. Speaking of love or what I love to do, okay, if you're still thinking career-wise. Now, for love, we're going to bring in the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue, and I'm going to lay another Celtic spread. So, dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Gemini I am reading for with clearly defined messages regarding the area of love and romance from April 1st through the 15th of 2021. All right. So right off the bat in the area of love, I feel like it's during the whole first half of April of 2021, Gemini, where you're being guided to release and heal from the past. Everything happens for a reason is what I'm hearing. Um, and because you experienced something that helped you to grow spiritually, uh, we need to take the lesson, right? Forgive the person for they were, a, they were like... A mountain you crossed in order to get to the mountain you're supposed to be. Ooh. So in the thoughts position of the Celtic spread, we have pay attention to the red flags. So I think that's what's happening is this Gemini is focusing more on the red flags because they still need to heal here. They need to learn. What did I learn about myself, right? Because we... We connect with people who are at the same spiritual level that we are and that are probably repeating unhealthy patterns and behaviors and cycles like we are. Now, some go back and continue relationships with others and some rise above and meet someone who's at a higher spiritual level. It doesn't make them any different. It just means someone back there hasn't learned yet. And I'm, I'm not going to get into that. But in the foundation of the Celtic spread, we have this could be the one. So somebody, this Gemini is feeling like someone was the one a little bit, but I think you are healing and it's important to forgive during that process for they know not what they do, right? In the past, some Geminis took it upon themselves to say, you know what? I deserve real love. So spirit is aiming this beautiful arrow towards you. And is saying you will receive love when you forgive someone and learn about the lesson. Now, by the second week of April of 2021, we have heart to heart conversations. Some may have to have closure here or somebody's going to come back around and um Spirit's really nudging you, Gemini, to just say how you feel in a kind way, in an understanding and forgiving way. Oh my, for some Geminis, by mid-April of 2021, we have you taking action, or even in the first half of April, taking action to try and give a relationship a chance. So there is some form of desire here to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, Gemini, or Somebody's going to come back towards you around the, I'm going to say the second going into the third week of April that wants to have a conversation with you. And that's going to change your perspective, but you're still paying attention to red flags. And this is why. Okay, we have a Gemini here whose spirit is giving you the strength to not give in to this drag, strong magnetic attraction. To speak your truth but still pay attention to the signs that are cautioning you. Okay, 
So in the hopes and fears position, oh, we have children. So your love life, uh, it, I'm sorry, not love life, hopes and fears are a situation involving children. So be careful if you don't want children. Um, I do feel like there is a hope here to connect with people regarding your past, your childhood, maybe your siblings, or there's a hope uh, that you can go back and connect with someone or have children with someone. But Spirit's saying there will be separation by mid-April of 2021, still or eventually, depending on your circumstances. So for clarification, Spirit is saying, love yourself first, free your mind, take back control of your life because deception and a false mask is headed your way. So right behind that, look at the spiritual advice here. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy because for some, uh, straight ahead is a soulmate and a deeper commitment, engagement, or partnership. Yeah, as you go into your own space, Spirit's going to send a new love in, though I don't think it's going to be in the first half of April, though for some it may take place. Uh, don't try to control how th something's going to turn out one way or another, but just know um, somebody's going to try to come back towards you with passionate energy or you're going to give in and contact them. For some, you may be finally healing and releasing and then coming into connection with someone new and you're thinking about giving a chance to that, but you're paying attention to the red flags because you are thinking about children. I don't know. However that energy applies to you, there's eventually separation. So let's look at a little bit deeper here with the Rider Waite deck. This is a tarot deck. I like to use this deck for clarification because it helps to pinpoint uh, certain people, places, circumstances, situations, and or spiritual advice. It also pinpoints the astrological signs and or elements of who by which this Gemini will be connecting with during the first half of April of 2021. There's some passion here. There's some chemistry here. Okay. So we have, I think this is you. Male or female, Gemini, you have the King of Pentacles energies. Either you're connecting with someone who's in a leadership position and or uh, you are connecting with someone who has Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Uh, you may be trying to release and heal from the past uh, because maybe someone else is starting to learn in their life. Or you are climbing into a position of greater abundance into this King of Pentacles throne and you're starting to... Uh, feel like a leader. I'm hearing a leader in your own life. So we have pay attention to the red flags in your thoughts position and the high priest is saying uh, we will help for you to plant new seeds in a new direction for what you create with your mind so too shall become your reality. So if the signs caution you continue to take those pomegranate seeds that the high priestess has and plant those seeds until you either connect with someone who's in a leadership position or sit in a solid foundation foundation where you're open and ready for a, a commitment. So this is someone who was out of it, but they're unsure. They want one. But see, look at this. I didn't even see this. This is the Six of Pentacles. This energy is about balance. Uh, are we a balanced connection? Um, because I feel like this could be the one. Um, but there are red flags in my thoughts. And with the High Priestess, that could represent situations that involve secrets. Okay, so secrets. Pay attention to the red flags. If anything has to be a secret is what I'm hearing. And maybe there's a secret that you're keeping whereby you really want to know if this is the right one and you're keeping it to yourself. So in the past, we have you deserve love. Uh, Cupid's arrow pointing right over in your direction as you forgive and learn. Um, in the past, you were unsure, right? Maybe regarding an air sign with the sword energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or they have that in their chart. This is someone who's put a lot of effort, three of their four so swords into the battlefield, and they've got one sword left. Well, this was in the past. Did you use that sword and cut away from them and know that you deserve love, or are you still hanging in there hoping for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation in the first half of April of 2021? Now, we do have the Temperance Angel. So during the first couple weeks I'm hearing of April of 2021, Spirit's stepping in with the Major Arcana, 
temperance. So they're sending in this beautiful magical angel to help you to maintain emotional balance, I'm hearing, uh, as you connect and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You're going to not be trusting someone, so I feel like they may be coming to you, but Spirit's giving you the strength to listen and observe. So in your actions position, we have you kind of wanting to give a relationship a chance, um, but I feel like business-wise, that's where Spirit wants you to go first. Go into the direction of business partnerships, family, friends, and those type of things, and then wait if you're unsure about love. Because we have, remember, someone here thinking about should I give something another chance with maybe an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini? And now we have an, a Gemini taking action to go away from troubled waters. So yeah, I know this is your energy with the swords, but it's also someone else who has air in their chart. So Spirit's giving this Gemini the strength to kind of withhold, even though there's a strong magnetic attraction, to withhold until you find a foundation, right? Because this energy with the Two of Pentacles, it's representing money or things of the material or your career or what you're doing for a living or how you're making money. So I do feel like a bit there's a bit of an imbalance here. And so Spirit's saying, we want to give you the strength to kind of ground yourself, to find this balance. I'm hearing like financially, creatively, and not give in to the passion if you are unsure. Kind of hold back a minute and observe. Now in the hopes and fears position, uh, we have a Gemini here who's either hoping about a situation regarding children or fearing. And here we have this beautiful little child on a horseback, shining like the sun, feeling like a kid again. Interesting. I'm feeling like the children energy is more in this reading, um, ch one's childhood or past. And there is some form of money offer. Sorry to bring money into love, but it happens. Heart-to-heart uh, -heart conversation that brings you balance and makes you start to feel like a kid again. Sometimes a child energy is a rebirth, a new beginning, giving birth to something new. So do not fear this new direction. Watch for the beautiful signs of the sunshine and water for some reason. Okay, in the outcome position representing mid-April of 2021, Spirit is giving you the strength to spend time apart after someone comes towards you and gives you a lot of attention and recognition. Or someone here is getting rec uh, attention and recognition in the area of the wands energy, career and finance, and Spirit's saying, follow that path. Even if you have to spend time apart from someone, remain balanced. Um, I'm hearing if they love you, they'll come back to you. If they don't, they were not meant to be. Yeah. So we have, huh, we have a mother figure, grandmother figure, someone who is financially abundant, secure, and stable, someone who is a very caring, loving energy, motherly energy. And maybe you're trying to get the strength to go towards, oh, we have a Queen of Cups here too, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Yeah, somebody feels like they're not in that solid foundation, but Spirit's saying we're helping you, right? to have conversations with others until you receive the attention you need so you can separate. Because I feel like this person, this Gemini is ready to go in a new direction of money, but um, you know, and then they'll have to lay down an old path of career and finance, but Spirit's saying slowly but surely what you're waiting for in the area of money is coming. And it's coming to you from someone who's a soulmate, could be a family or friend, and um, it's coming with a gift from the universe in the form of the Ace of Swords, which is victory, whereby you can cut away from and bring an end to who and or what didn't serve you. So that's why there's, I kind of want to take action in the actions position to give a relationship a chance. But part of me wants to go away from troubled waters. But I need to be balanced first before giving in to this strong magnetic attraction because spirit is really saying, if there's secrets, those are the red flags. Stay away from that. Okay, so... I'm going to close by bringing in a message from the Daily Guidance from your Angels deck by Doreen Virtue. Closing message regarding the overall energy surrounding this Gemini during this general reading. Closing message, please, for the first half of April of 2021. 
Be honest with yourself. Notice the signs. Crazy. So this card says, look into your heart and you will know the truth of the situation. It is safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they will come to you on an angel's wings. And what do we talk about before in the career and finance reading? Notice the signs, right, with that crown chakra at the beginning of April. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent, just like we talked about from this angel. we got another angel here. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and you are never alone. So if you've been wondering something and you receive a lot of attention by mid-April of 2021, what is Spirit saying? They're saying, go for it. And there is a horse and a unicorn, something magical whereby, and with a horse here, you may have to travel into a new direction whereby you're going to have to separate uh, from another or others. Should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am now offering the Spring Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much to those of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed, to those of you who come to me for month-to-month -month readings, to those of you who follow up those month-to-month -month readings with emails as you explain how these energies help to guide you into that path of peace, joy, and happiness. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart to those of you who have donated uh, to keep this channel up and running. Take care and God bless.